unknown to most people, the the guy who's running Russia right now, Vladimir Putin, has a PhD in energy economics. Yeah, and if you I didn't know that. It, yeah, he wrote a thesis on basically why the, his thesis is that the the Soviet Union fell apart because it mismanaged its its oil resources that it didn't invest in the necessary infrastructure and refining and therefore was at the mercy of the west and so what's happening right now this you mega hiccup as you call it you didn't say mega i added that what's happening right now with with diesel and with natural gas is not an accident I mean, this guy knows exactly what he's doing, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that you know, secretly admires Vladimir Putin. I'm just saying he knew exactly what he was doing. He said, look, I got, the, I got all the cards right here, and I'm going to play those cards. And when, those card, when playing those cards don't work to his satisfaction, he plays another card. So right now he's, he's bombing energy infrastructure in Ukraine. The guy knows about energy. You know, say what you will. If you Google Putin's PhD dissertation, you'll see there are lots of people who think that, you know, he, he had a ghostwriter do it or he plagiarized it. You know, I don't care uh, because that's not the issue here. Point is, is even if all those things are true, this man knows more about energy than all the leaders of NATO put together because he somehow did have to pass his defense so uh so we're dealing with a guy who understands how to play energy much better than any of our our nato leaders and i would argue probably any of the other leaders in the world so he this this was a planned intervention so is, is it likely that we'll see something you know it, it, will a hiccup have the same implications in the future we don't know but this one's here to stay, I think. This is, in, in my, my view, this is part of, of, of a radical restructuring of the world order. And whether Putin lives or dies or stays in power or is taken from power, uh, I, I don't think that's going away. I think the world is pretty evenly divided. And, and one side of that divide sees natural resources and the means of production of those natural resources as the key to their success 